morning dear students now we are going to discuss financial system different financial assets etc okay first of all financial system what's a financial system a set of institutions instruments and markets which encourage savings and channelize them to their effective use such a system is called financial system so a financial system includes a set of institutions a set of instruments and uh, markets which uh, what they are doing they encourage savings and channelize these savings to their effective use okay then now financial assets so in any financial transaction there should be a creation or transfer of a financial asset you take any financial transaction we can see that uh, there will be a creation or transfer of a financial asset then what is the meaning of financial asset a financial asset is a non physical asset okay it's a non physical asset its value is derived from a contractual claim it gets no value as it is its value is derived from a contractual claim for example stocks bonds bank deposits these are all examples of financial assets so a financial assets value is derived from a contractual claim and a financial asset is a non physical asset then for example when a person buys equity shares and uh, these shares are financial asset why because uh, they earn income in future by way of a uh, dividend or capital appreciation like so financial assets are usually more liquid than other tangible assets you take example equity shares it's a more liquid asset than uh, other uh, tangible assets like building land etc then what is the objective of investments decides the nature of the assets the objective of the investment decides whether it is a financial asset or non financial asset if a building is bought for residential purpose it becomes a physical asset at the same time if a building is uh, bought for hiring purpose then it becomes a financial asset okay so the objective of investment is at the nature of the asset then uh, types of uh, financial assets first one is marketable asset what is a marketable asset assets which can be transferred easily from one person to another without much uh, difficulties such an asset is called uh, marketable asset so asset uh, which can be transferred easily from one person to another without much uh, difficulties okay for example shares of listed companies government securities bonds of public sector undertakings these are all examples of marketable assets because all these assets can be transferred easily from one person to another without much difficulty the non marketable asset what is the meaning of a non marketable asset if the assets cannot be transferred easily they are known as non marketable assets if an asset cannot be transferred easily from one person to another then such assets are known as non marketable assets for example bank deposits we can transfer bank deposits from one person to another like uh, provident fund provident fund in the name of a, an employee we can transfer this provident fund from one person to another pension funds national savings certificates insurance policies these are all examples of non marketable assets then now cash assets what is the meaning of a cash asset you know 
in india all coins and currency notes are issued either by reserve bank of india or by the ministry of finance government of india except some currency notes and coins are issued by reserve bank of india and one rupee notes and currencies are issued by ministry of finance government of india then uh, besides uh, currency notes issued by and coins issued by rbi and ministry of finance commercial banks can also create money by means of uh, creating credit so you know that credit creation is one of the important functions of commercial banks credit creation so when loans are sanctioned liquid cash is not granted to the uh, customers or borrowers instead an account is opened in the name of the borrower and uh, a deposit is created it is also a kind of cash asset so when an uh, a, uh, a person applies for a loan an account is opened in the name of the borrower and the amount is credited in that account that account is known as derivative account so a derivative account created at the time of uh, sanctioning loan is a kind of cash asset next one is the debt asset debt asset is issued by a variety of organizations for the purpose of raising their debt capital debt capital has a fixed payment schedule with regard to principal and interest that means uh, repayment of capital will be made after a fixed period of time as well as interest will be paid either half yearly or annually depends upon the situation uh, debt capital has a fixed payment schedule with regard to principal repayment and payment of interest for example issue of debentures raising of uh, term loans from banks or financial institutions etc then stock asset stock is issued by business organizations for the purpose of raising their fixed the capital there are two types of stocks namely equity shares and uh, preference these are the two types of uh, stocks issued by companies then now we are going to discuss financial intermediaries what is the meaning of a financial intermediary financial intermediary includes all kinds of organizations which intermediate and facilitate financial transactions of both individuals and uh, corporate customers so what is a financial intermediary financial intermediary includes all kinds of organizations which uh, intermediate and facilitate financial transactions of both individual and uh, corporate customers financial intermediaries are banking and non banking institutions which uh, transfer funds from economic agents with uh, surplus funds to economic agents that would like to utilize those funds okay so it collects or mobilizes funds from the general public savings of the general public and uh, channelize this uh, funds to the companies who are in need of funds two types of uh, intermediaries are the capital market intermediaries and uh, money market intermediaries first one capital market intermediaries so we know the meaning of capital market these intermediaries provide long term funds to individuals and their corporate customers so they are providing long term funds to individuals and their corporate customers and the capital market intermediaries intermediary consists of term lending institutions like financial corporations and investing institutions like life insurance corporation then money market intermediaries 
so we know the meaning of money market so money market intermediary supply only short term funds to individuals and uh, corporate customers so a money market intermediary supplies short term funds to individuals and corporate customers and the money market intermediary consists of commercial banks cooperative banks etc they are providing money market uh, okay thank you